Hi guys, I'm Jack Wong and welcome to the channel. Today, we will show you how to 3D print your photograph. One day, while paying my visit to a nearby 3D printer shop, I was looking at this piece of 3D printed part within the collections. What is this? It looks like mountains and rivers across the plastic pieces. Is it a mini-map? I think to myself. Then, the shop owner came to me, gave me some introductions and showed me how it works. This thingy is called a little fan and it is one of the most interesting things you can print using a 3D printer. Put it under some light source and you will see the image hole in this little plastic piece. I'm quite amused by the effect, thus I decided to discover on how to make one. To make a little fan, you need to prepare a few things. A 3D printer, some light color filaments, Cura slicer software and your most beautiful photo. The first step to make a little fan is to choose your favorite photo. A small tip for you, try to choose a picture with close object and less complex features. It can greatly improve the effect of your little fan. The second step is to open your Cura Slicer program, browse and import your chosen picture into the Slicer software. In this step, you will need to fill some parameters which is critical to prepare the model. This height parameter stands for the maximum thickness of the little fan. Fill in 3mm for this setting. Do not set this value too high as light might not be able to pass through your little fan. The next setting is the base parameter which stands for the minimum thickness of the little fan. Fill in 0.5mm. Do not set this value too low as your printer might fail to print it and causes unexpected holes on the little fan. The difference between the maximum thickness and the minimum thickness form the contrast of the pictures. The greater the difference, the more vivid your little fan becomes. We designed this special zig to simulate the lighting effect of each thickness on the little fan. We also attached the link of this zig in the description below. Please feel free to download and test it out yourself and find your suitable thickness range. The next setting will be the width and depth which represent the actual size of your little fan. You only need to set one of the value and the other will automatically change to remain its size ratio. Next, you will notice a setting mentioned lighter is higher. Change it to darker is higher as it will represent a normal photo. The lighter is higher will represent a negative photo. You will also observe a scrollable setting mentions smoothing. This effect will cause every edge of the little fan to be smoother. Keep the smoothing to lowest to achieve a sharper picture effect of your little fan. After all the settings, click on OK to import your photo. Now, your model will be transformed into a printable 3D object. The next step is to set the orientation of the model. It is very important that the little fan is printed vertically. If you print a little fan flat on the heat pad, the quality of the little fan will be bad. Also, it is important to print the little fan across the most stable axis. For most of the printer, it will be better to print along Y axis as the movement is more stable across it. We will make another video to explain more details on how it affects your little fan quality. So remember to subscribe us so that you will get a notification once the video is being made. Until then, just stick to the advice above. After the setting of the orientation, it is time to look at the most important slicing parameters for little fan printing. The first parameter to be set is the layer height. 
set the layer height around 0.1mm to 0.2mm. The lower the layer height, the greater the printing quality. However, the time of printing will also be longer. In our demo printing, we will be using 0.1mm layer height. The next setting is the line width. We will suggest you to keep the line width same as your nozzle diameter size. Here, we will put 0.4mm as our nozzle diameter size is 0.4mm. Moving on to the next setting, the wall thickness. Set the wall thickness to be the multiple of your nozzle diameter size and it should be greater than the maximum thickness which in our case is 3.6mm. You can observe the maximum thickness of your little fan by looking at the dimensions of it at the right bottom corner of Kira. Select everywhere for few gaps between wall. Thick filter out tiny gap and print thin wall. These settings are important so that you have a smooth surface at the back of your little fan. For the infill setting, choose 100% infill. This setting is one of the most important settings in printing little fan. Next, choose the appropriate temperature for your filament types. For our case, we are using PLA, which the temperature will be set at 195 Celsius. Please use your normal printing temperature values for optimum quality of the printing. A little fan needs to be printed in extremely slow for its best quality. We will suggest the range of speed around 20 mm per second to 25 mm per second. Also, remember to tick on the Enable Acceleration Control and Enable Jerk Control. With these settings on, the quality of the little fan will be higher with the cost of increase in printing time. For the cooling section, if you are printing using PLA, please make sure that your print cooling is on and set the fan speed to 100% after the first layer. Printing PLA without cooling will cause in bad surfaces quality. Please make sure that the support generation is off. We should not enable supports while printing little fan. Lastly, since we are printing the little fan vertically, it is preferable to enable rough or brim to ensure that our little fan stands still along the printing. You will just need to remove the rough or the brim after the printing. Besides, if you don't want to remove the adhesions, it can act as a stand for your little fan too. After all the slicing parameter settings, we are now ready to slice our little frame. Before printing it, be sure to check out the layer view to see if there is any visible holes on your little fan. If there is visible hole, re-import your picture and set a higher minimum thickness. It seems that now our model is ready to be printed. Let us try to print it out. Here is the result of our little fan. We can carefully scrape it out and try to view it under the light source. It turns out great. So here is the end of this video. We hope that this video will help you in making your first 3D printed little fan. If you manage to print out the little fan by following the guide of this video, be sure to like, subscribe and share it to your friends. As always, thanks and happy printing.